Rufus, oh, let me love me, oh, you're just no Rufus, oh, let me love me Caught up in my, caught up in my day Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've got a new thing for you today. Um, I realized I haven't done one of those for like ages. It's in a live talk video and it's going to be in English as you may have noticed. Um, as the caption says, I'm going to talk about 10 happiness habits. Moreover, these are like 10 lessons that I've learned throughout my 23 years on earth. <laughs> Just to let you guys know, I have not perfected these 10 habits yet. Of course, um, I'm just a human and I will always, you know, get back to bad habits. But most of the time I really try to tell myself and to actually also remind myself of these things. And I really hope that these lessons or these habits may help one of you as well. So let's just begin. First important thing to remember is to not take things personally. Whether it is something that someone does or someone says or whatever circumstances where you feel sort of offended, um, try to settle down yourself and remind yourself that the other person has a life of its own as well. We human beings are egocentric by birth. Um, it is a survival skill and we all think about ourselves first, at least most of the time. Whenever something happens or you hear something, you see something and you feel like, oh my god, this person is doing it just to offend me, maybe take a step back and just realize, so hey, this other person has its life on its own. Don't take the things personally. It doesn't matter what someone else says or does and you may not be the focus of every single one's life. Just take a step back and try to calm yourself down. The second habit is to not compare yourself. Every single human being, as cheesy as it may sound, has his own story, it has his own characteristics, we all have something we're really good at, we're really bad at, and the thing about comparison is that you always compare negative aspects that you know best about yourself with the highlight things of another person that you may not even really know. You don't know what this other person is going through, you don't know how, how this other person may feel insecure at times as well, so just stop comparing yourself and just focus on yourself because there's a reason why you were put on this earth. People love you for the way you are and you've got friends, you've got your families and there's always going to be someone smarter than you, someone better than you. It's also a very subjective theme so just remind yourself that there's only one person who's exactly like you and that is you so embrace it. The third thing is a thing that I have not perfected myself to be honest. Um, it is to not judge anything or anyone. I think it's sort of also human nature if you see something that you read your own meaning into it. I think it's something that's not stoppable in the human brain because you analyze things and of course you will have an opinion to it. But before you talk about someone in a bad way or I don't know, say that this person has made these mistakes and that this person is so stupid because it has made this mistake, it would be better to actually stop and think about yourself first. If you were in the position of the other person, would you really have behaved in such a different and better way like when you would have like the exact same circumstances as the person that you were judging um, with the exact same situations same exact feeling moods thoughts everything would you really have acted in a different way let's be honest sometimes I still do judge people but like when I realize that I'm just judging someone I tell myself oh my god who are you to judge that person? Um, if you begin to judge a person just by its appearance or by, I don't know, just a few sentences that the person said, you may actually cut yourself off from that person who might have been a good friend for you maybe even. So let us just try in the year 2016 to not judge that hard anymore. Right? Fourth habit would be to forgive yourself and forgive others. Things have happened in the past for each and every single one. We all have made our mistakes, we all have people who were treated us badly, where we thought that it was really unfair of life, um, we all have done things where we really thought to ourselves, oh my fucking god, are you serious? Why have you done this? These thoughts can really really haunt us, but it does nothing 
then just make us feel bad. That is the thing, because the past cannot be changed, obviously. And whatever you do, you can think about it like a thousand times. You can analyze it, could have went better, or what you should have said, what you should have done, but nothing will ever change about it. The only thing that you can change is your present and your future. It is really, really important to let go of these things, of the past, whatever you have done or whatever other people have done to you. And the first step to do so would be to really forgive. Forgive yourself that you were stupid and that you, I don't know, are just a human like everyone else and that you're still in the learning progress, that you're like a work that isn't finished yet. And so is everyone else. Other people are imperfect as well, just like you are not. You will never be able to move on and to really look at the bright side of life and to look into the future look towards everything um, when you still live in the past because forgiving you do that not for the other people you do it for yourself number five is to think about the things that are important for you for you especially i feel like in our society and especially with the social media there are so many things where the society puts a lot of value into it don't feel bad if these values are not your values it's a matter of your surrounding and if you just get confronted with things every single day you sort of adapt to their mindset the only way to really feel fulfilled is to really embrace your own values do not assume that just because other people find something great that you have to amount to their expectations and to their values the only expectations that you need to fulfill are your own because everything else will just drain you the next habit number six um, would be to create something of your own um, whether it is you know a YouTube channel like I have or a blog or have your own rearrangement project of your room whether it is to make a bomb cheesecake to go to fashion to dedicate yourself to beauty to health to animals whatever it is just create something of your own have something that just belongs to yourself this point is connected to the point that I've just mentioned earlier with your own values think about what is important for you and embrace it do something you know really from your own power from your own will and you know treat it like a plant flourish it water it take care of it because this will be something that no one can take away from you having to achieve something and to work on something really makes you come out of yourself and will make yourself grow um, preferably to a happy person and if not if you you know at the end realize it wasn't for you then it's just another lesson that you have learned in your life habit number seven would be to remind yourself of why you should be grateful um, there are just so many things to be grateful about but um, I think we people in the first world um, tend to forget about these things we are just you know considerably spoiled we are not appreciative of anything that was given to us we have a roof above our head we have education we have technology we have food we have health services we have clean water everything there's just so much stuff to be really grateful about there are so many people who have so much less than you so it is really really important to give thanks for the life that we have and for the things that we have. Habit number eight is um, quite similar to, to habit number six. Um, it is really to concentrate on yourself, on what you want to do in your life, on what you want in your life, on how you feel, on what you think. Just go your way, do the stuff that you want, you know, just hustle in your own way, fill your own goal, fulfill your own dream, no matter if other people approve of it or not. Just go your freaking way because it is the way for you and it's destined for you. So do not let anyone take that away from you. Habit number nine is something which is actually quite important as well and um, it is quite a bit different than the other points. It is to Give yourself the permission to not be perfect. Let's be honest, there will always be times where you will be lazy. There are always times where you will feel sad, or where you will feel insecure, where you just are not motivated or anything. And you know what? That is perfectly, perfectly fine. It is perfectly fine. As I said, no human being is perfect. So stop being so hard on yourself. Imagine that the way you were talking to yourself, that would be a friend talking to you. Um, the things that you say to yourself that a friend would say them to you. You wouldn't want to be friends with that person anymore, you know what I mean? If that person would 
talk down on you and you know make you feel bad about being imperfect, being sad at times, being bad at times or whatever. Just allow yourself to be so because only in that way you are a good friend to yourself. It is something really really important to remember because no one will feel like on 100% every single time except your Beyonce. Okay, probably not even Beyonce. And life is like roller coasters going up and down and everything will pass, even the bad times. Last habit I want to talk about, habit number 10, is to give yourself new insights. Travel the world, read some books, go to places, get new friends, hear new opinions, everything. Just be open. Break out of the box that you're living in. Get out of your comfort zone. Stop being in the bubble that you are in. Just move outside of everything and just let new things and people inspire you because in that way you will grow in the inside. Happiness is something that you attain step by step. No one is born perfectly happy. I mean, okay, you were an infant, but your brain wasn't really working back then. So, you know, it will make you grow and will make you feel more rich inside. So guys, these were the 10 habits. I really try to stick by these rules. Although it is of course hard as I've mentioned before, no one is perfect, I'm not perfect either, so I will sometimes break these rules. But I hope this video inspired you, I really hope that it helped at least one of you guys. Keep your head up, everything will be great. So I love you guys so 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 so, bye! Mwah. It's a war zone. Pillow talk, pillow talk, pillow talk, pillow talk.